You can't complain about the weather. We are currently at 81. And if you started following the weather two weeks ago when we started to get kind of fall-like weather, Kristen was saying, don't be faked out. Summer's making a comeback. <laughs> I said, beware the fall, fall fake, fake out. out. Yeah. And that's what we got. We got a whole big dose of it in September. And now we're changing everything around. Before we get to that, though, I wanted to show you some pictures about my adventure this morning. Okay. So, Let's you know, last time I was talking about this, I was kind of complaining about it. I was like, I got to get up so early to go yeah. fishing, but I was really excited to go. Look what happened. Okay. Let's Biggest see. fish of the year. <laughs> oh, that my God. On, on the coin boat. That's Stan. He had to help me hold it up. 25 pounds right my, there. Oh you know, what did Stan gosh. say about that? Because so, he's been fishing the last month. What did he say uh -huh. about the size of this one? He says it's the biggest one of the year. Really? Yes. Yeah, that's what he said. My gosh. He said it beats Core, so we got to tell Core that. And sorry, Core. And there's he Jennifer Dowling. Or so Jennifer, Jennifer Dowling, Dowling was, was there, and so um, Jennifer was awesome. It's time that thing would go. She was all about it. Hooking it, bring it in. It yeah. was it was great. Now, so, did you bring any of the fish back? Or? Yeah, I got a cooler back there. Wow! So we can divvy it. So up. You're gonna have dinner for us, right? Yeah. yeah maybe oh. I'll bring the grill back out here and we'll, <laughs> we'll awesome. grill it up. Yeah, there's so much to go around, but it was a good old time. Thanks, Stan, and for taking us all out on the coin boat. We really enjoyed it. It was a little cloudy to start off with up in Astoria, but we're starting to see some sunshine there. And of course, it's just been beautiful when you drop south because it has been nothing but sunshine in places like Lincoln City and for the Valley, Central and Eastern Oregon too. We're in the low 80s right now. Uh, winds are coming in from the north at 6. So it's been a while since we've seen the 80s, about 10 days, but we are back. And guess what? We're gearing up for more 90 degree weather. Uh, we've already broken the record for the, the amount of times that we've hit 90 degrees in Portland or higher. 27 days so far this year, all time record for Portland. And now we have two more days that we could possibly tack on to that. It looks really likely as we wrap up this work week. Typically, the last day that we see 90 or higher is right around September 8th. So we're starting to get there. We're getting to that point as of today. But the latest has been October 5th, back in 1980. Uh, so there's still time for us to hit 90 degrees. And with the way this summer is going, uh, man, maybe we could do it this year because it has been a long, hot one, and it is coming right back at us again. Out there right now, it feels really pleasant, though, and really temperatures on par for where they should be. Uh, 79, roughly the uh, normal high for Portland for this time of the year. We're in the low 80s, so we're close. Central and East temperatures in the 70s and 80s there. Your evening planner tonight, it'll be a mild one, very comfortable, not quite as cool, so you could probably forego the jacket. Mid 70s through 7 p.m., upper 60s through 10 o'clock, and then we'll be in the upper 60s, even through 11 o'clock, so not too bad. Eventually, is down to lows in the mid to upper 50s up and down I-5. So a little bit milder at night, but still nice and crisp in the morning. Central and east down into the 40s to low 50s there. Uh, here's a look at Lincoln City. Wanted to show you this time lapse here. It just looked beautiful uh, today. We had a lot of sunshine, uh, not much in the way of cloud cover at all. We'll see some clouds try to roll in overnight tonight, and then we'll be right back at it for that sunshine again tomorrow afternoon. Not talking about rain anytime soon. Satellite and radar showing things are very dry and mainly clear for most of us. Some of that cloud cover extending back to the north and southwest Washington as there is a disturbance passing by to our north. These disturbances that move through are going to end up moving way to our north as high pressure starts to build in to bring in that heat. So the rest of the night, we're going to see a few passing clouds as we head towards midnight, and then we'll watch for some of those low clouds to kind of creep in early in the morning. Those move out very quickly. We're back to the sunshine for the afternoon to warm us up. Central and eastern Oregon, uh, we'll see a nice sunny day for you there. Then we go into Thursday, and this is when we start to really notice that heat. We're talking highs getting back into the mid and even upper 80s along I-5. We'll have a lot of sunshine. We sort of see that storm track take its track way to the north. And we'll continue with that Friday into Saturday. Those will be the hottest days of the week. Coastal forecast tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny skies. Uh, winds will be light in the morning and then a little bit breezier for the afternoon. North northwest at about 10 to 15, low to mid 70s for you. I 5 in the mid 80s down south, even upper 80s in Corvallis, 78 in Kelso. Uh, winds nice and light from the west. Central and eastern Oregon, a light breeze, and we'll see plenty of sunshine tomorrow. Highs in the mid to upper 80s, so we're heating things back up again. Uh, for the Cascades, upper 70s for Government Camp, Hood River in the low. 80s, a steady breeze to the gorge. Uh, winds coming in from the west at about 10 to 15. And here's a look at your seven day forecast. It's kind of all over the place with the temperatures upper 70s to around 80 tomorrow, mid 80s Thursday, 90s Friday, Saturday, and then we start to cool things back off again. Going into early next week, maybe even some rain by next Tuesday. But for now, it's going to be a long stretch of dry weather and even a little mini stretch of heat because highs in the low 90s, lows covering close to 60. It's going to feel pretty warm around here again. It's going to feel like summer. Well, Once careful again. about your barbecue offer because we may very well take you yeah. up on that.